Question four then from paper one of the 2016 New Higher Maths. Three mark question on a circle, and there's a diagram, it always helps with circle questions, you've got a diagram to look at. AB is a diameter, gives the coordinates of A and B, A is negative 7, 3, and B is 1, 5. What's the equation of that circle? Well, the three marks will be, what's the centre? What's the radius? So put it all together. First thing is, where's the centre? If that's a diameter, the centre must be halfway between the points A and B. And the first mark would be for simply stating that. You could show the calculation if you like, but sometimes it's quite obvious. If that's halfway along the line AB, then its x-coordinate will be halfway along the difference in the x's, and the y-coordinate will be halfway along the difference in the y's. Halfway between 3 and 5 is 4. You could put that straight away. Maybe negative 7 and 1. It's not quite so obvious immediately what's halfway between them. You could say they're 8 apart. So go halfway, which means go 4 forward from there or 4 back from there. But I'll put down the conventional working. You'll get the halfway if you take the average of the numbers. So you've got a 1 and a negative 7. So 1 and negative 7, half of that. And you've got a 5 and a 3. So the centre is going to be the point negative 6 upon 2, which is negative 3, and 5 upon 3 upon 2, which is 4. That's the first mark. And you would have got it just for stating that. Now this next part, though, it quite clearly wants you to calculate the radius. Well, you could get the diameter first, and then half it for the radius, but as well just getting the radius straight off. The radius is the distance from the centre, to any point in the circumference. You can choose either of them. So I'm just going to choose C to B. The radius will be the distance, C, B. Of course, it doesn't specifically ask you to find the radius. You could find the radius squared because that's what you want to feed into the equation. It doesn't mention that in the marking scheme as far as I can see, but that would do just as well. But what it does say in the marking scheme is this. If you simply state the radius, same way you could have stated that, you won't get the mark. Not only that, it appears to be if you simply state the radius, you won't get the mark for the radius or the mark for the final equation. It says, if the diameter radius appears ex nihilo, that means from nowhere. So I want to put some working down. She always put a working down anyway, just like I did there, just in case. So distance from C to B, well, you could use the formal formula which is the difference in the x-coordinates. Remember, c is now at negative 3, 4. So that's 1 take away negative 3, which I'll probably write as 1 plus 3. And 5 take away 4, difference in the y-coordinate squared. So it's going to be the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared. So that's root 17. That would get a mark. Or you could have done the distance from A to C, which had been exactly the same. Or you could have worked out the distance from A to B, but then you'd have had to half it afterwards. The last part is just put it all together. So what is the equation of the circle? Well, the form for a circle is x minus a squared, y minus b squared equals r squared. I'll just put that in a little inverted commas because that's just the form of it. I didn't actually mention it anywhere. So what have I got in this case? x minus the x-coordinate of the centre. So it's x take away negative 3. To say for it all again, I think I'll just jump in with plus 3. y minus the y-coordinate, y minus 4 squared, equals r squared, which puts that back up to 17. That's the third mark. Don't leave it as root 17 squared. Is the square of the radius, yes, and the radius is root 17, but if you leave it like that, you won't get this mark. You have to simplify that down to 17. And again, make sure you show some working for this radius. They seem to be quite stringent here by saying you wouldn't get either of these two marks if you jumped straight in with r equals root 17 without any indication of where it came from. I suppose you could have replaced it with a little, if you had a little triangle. Maybe if you drew a diagram, it had a little triangle that showed the sides there were 4 and 1, and then got your 17 from that, because that's 4 along 1 up. That means it wasn't coming from nowhere. It wasn't ex nihilo. Oh. But there it is. Three marks.